welcome back to my channel. Today we have another hair tutorial for you guys. Because you guys enjoyed my last tutorial so much, I thought I would film another one of my most requested hairstyles for you guys. So this one is kind of like a half up, half down bubble braid detail pony. And it's one of my go-to hairstyles because I've used it so much, so much, always when I'm doing like super cool hair shots. And I just think that it gives that super bubbly personality because it's a bubble ponytail, you get it? <laughs> It's super simple, it only takes about 5 to 10 minutes and you only need about 3 to 4 elastic ties to pull together this look, so if you're interested, let's get started. Okay guys, so I just washed and dried my hair and I've just ran a curling iron through it, so I used the 1 and a quarter curling barrel. So you can just use that to kind of create these loose waves in your hair which adds more texture and more dimension to your hair and that's always a good start when you're doing hairstyles. So I'm starting clean, I have no products in my hair so what we're going to do is we're just going to leave part it to the side like this, side parting and run your fingers through the top part of your ear all the way back like this. So you sort of create that half up, half down do right now. And just because this looks a little bit more relaxed, you can kind of like leave some strands of hair like this down. And you don't have to be too precise and it doesn't have to be too tight. You're just gonna take a brush and just make sure you brush it through, but you don't have to be too um, too careful with it. You just wanna make sure that there are no like bumps. And then this time we're gonna tie a low pony, so somewhere around here. Use this one in my hand. Okay, and then once you have a low ponytail, the back of your head like this, you want to go ahead and pull down the sides just like this. So want to make sure you pull it down so it creates like a more like loose, like relaxed kind of look. Okay guys, so now you have a regular pony like this. Now it's time for the fun part. You're gonna take some small elastics. So I have here these tiny elastic bands and I have them in black, but you can choose to go with clear elastics or blonde elastics or brown ones to match your hair color. I feel that it's best if you use an elastic that matches your hair color so it's got that more seamless flow. What you wanna do is you wanna start tying it around one to one and a half inch below your first one. And then you want to use your second one and do the same thing. And then one more, exactly the same thing. So now you have three elastics in your hair. You should have three bubbles that pops out like this, like three bunches. And what you're going to do, and this is my favorite part, you're going to go in there and you're going to pull it open. So you're going to take the first one. And I always like to work from my way up till down. Pull it this way and also left to right front and back, and left to right. And do the same thing for all of them. I like it to be kind of like big and fluffy, but not too much, because I have slightly layered hair. And if you have super layered hair, I don't recommend you pull it too much. Otherwise, you're gonna have little hair sticking out of your bubbles, and that's not, it doesn't create that like round and fluffy effect. So just keep that in mind. And yeah, it's up to you how fluffy you want the bubbles to look. You just want to pull it. I'm just doing some final touches. So I want them super puffy. So when you're, when you're done with your bubbles, I like to personally pull out tiny strands of hair around my ears, like here, and around my temples to kind of make it like messier and kind of like I just woke out of bed. I didn't really care what my hair looked like. I just threw it up in a ponytail and it just happened to look so cute. <laughs> I just like that effortless feeling, but it's up to you. So now that we have the bubble braid, what I'm going to work on is the lower part of my hair. So now the braid looks like this, but then we have these hairs like this. You can just leave it as is, but I like to go an extra step further and use my extensions on the lower part of my hair just so it gives it that voluminous look. And if you're not yet familiar with these extensions, I have a whole video dedicated to them. What type I use, what brand, how often I wash them, um, what color they are, how long they are. So make sure you check out the link here if you want to see that video. Okay. 
So now that you have your extensions in, it's going to make your braid pop a lot more just because you have so much volume on the bottom part of your hair. It looks like this. So you can just leave it like that or you can put like a hair accessory around the top. I love these hair accessories. I don't know why I haven't been using them since the summer. I saw them on like every girl outside. So I just recently found these. These are only like $2 from Shein, so I'll be linking it down below if you're interested. You can also grab these at your local like hair supply store, beauty store, Walmart, I don't know. <laughs> Check it out. But yeah, it's basically like an elastic and you just want to tie it on the, on, the, on the top most elastic here of your pony. So it's just a little something to kind of like wear in your hair for a special occasion or I just think it's cute if you're just wearing it without the ribbon as well. But yeah, this is the finished look. Okay guys, so we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any other ideas on how to style tutorials, make sure you let me know and I'm happy to dive into them and kind of study them and film them for you guys. If you liked it, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to me so you can see more like this in the future and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!